you need to take the bold step at the right time because by the time you don't take that bold step at that right time is that you start struggling or it will affect you in one way or the other that's why the adage says do the right thing at the right time if you interpret this adage well it means when you do the right thing at the right time it will be easier for you to achieve that goal but when you do the right thing at the wrong time it's not that you're not going to achieve that goal or that your aim but it will be slow you might struggle before you achieve that aim it might affect you in one way or the other negatively there was a bold step I was supposed to take a long time ago. I never eat to anyone's advice. I never took that bold step. And as I'm talking to you right now, it's really affecting me. Ta-da! Hope you guys are doing great. You're welcome back to my channel. My name is BK Crown and you're watching BK Crown Space. So guys, um, I'm just going to be sharing some things with you. I don't know if I'm the right person to do this because right now I'm still going through what I want to share. But I don't know who I'm going to be touching. I don't know someone's life I'm going to be touching one way or the other. And um, this thing came to my mind and I was like, let me just speak my mind and let you guys know how I feel about this stuff. So guys, there's one bold step I was supposed to take long time ago, but I never listened to anyone's advice. I was too adamant. I was thinking, oh well, that thing was not in vogue. Why should I do that? Why should I involve myself in such a thing and you know and right now that stuff is affecting me i know you guys might be thinking what am i actually saying well what i'm saying is that i have this talent right from when i was a little girl i have this talent of how to make air so they said that when i got to premi two i don't go to salon to make my hair again i plate my hair myself and the amazing part of it is that the way I will make that air, I will even be shocked because I will make some styles, air styles that is not even on internet. People are not even making. That's what I do to to school. Well, we don't make use of attachments. We don't make use of weaving. But my normal air, I will plate it myself. I like I do it with ease. I can I can make air like even though yeah the the air will still be neat. But maybe on Wednesday, I'll lose the air again. I'll play the same style, but I'll be placing it all over again. All because I just have the passion for it. So when my parents noticed these things, they were like, wow, this is lovely. I started making my hair for my sister, my elder sister back then. I'll make hair with, for her with attachment. And people were like, wow, I'm so lucky. At least I have something I'm talented with and everything. But... When people were saying all those things, I, mean, I did not see it that way. I see it as just for fun. I was not even ready to make money with it because to me, uh, I don't like anything addressing because I know the stress addressers go through. You opening a shop, you not getting customer. Even though you get customer, you stand for hours before you finish that air uh, on top of how much, you know? Well, at that point, I was too young, so I can't even consider opening a shop or a salon. So, that was understandable. So, when I got to secondary school, I still make that air. I still plate my hair. I plate hair for friends. I plate hair for family friends. And they were all advising me that, wow, that when I go to university, I won't have to struggle. At least I have something I can fall back on i have something that can be fetching me little little income but why they were saying all those things to me i was just nodding my head like a gamma lizard i was just nodding my head but in my mind i knew that i'm not going to go after that stuff because i just don't like anything interesting and you know back then um weed was not common there are some kind of wigs that um all this wig that they use machine to make that they sell in the market it's not you no know, then 
even though they are sending you my uh, that you my uh, was not really invoked people don't use their hand to make wigs it's already it's a ready made wig we buy then so i don't like i didn't like the idea of make being an hairdresser i just don't know why i just believe that that kind of profession is not meant for me but well i know how to make a uh, all i had to do was to just brush up my talent but no i never did such so when i got to the university i know um i focused on my studies i did not i was like i don't want anything to distract me i don't want to do anything not knowing that i was arming myself i was hurting my i was hurting myself so back then my friends would be like ah bukumi do ah, start making f for friends now this and that it's not me to make f for friends i charge them i won't charge them i'll make f for a few friends for free because i don't like as to me i'll be like why we like to want to charge you to make this kind of air which i'm not even considering venturing into this uh, business i'm not considering doing such a thing so why would i want to so i just make a for my friends for free and i take it as fun so when when i was in university i had opportunity to venture into air because right now i noticed as i was in university it was invoke when I mean air, I don't mean air dresses, I mean wig. People started making wigs and everything. I was like, ah, why are people... And it's, it's something I, I can do without learning. But there are still some little, little things I, I have to be watching online so I can able to brush up my talent and able to be good at it, you understand? So, I was like, ah, what would I do? So, one thing I want to say is that Never, 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 never give up on that your talent. You might have a talent. It might not be in vogue. But at least take it serious. Because you don't know when you will regret not taking that step. Some people might have talent on how to draw. But because they know that, ah, how much will I make from this? How much will I make from that? How many people want to draw? That doesn't mean it's not... It will not fetch you money. It will still fetch you money. You can use that one as a you know, side business. So, when I was in the higher institution, university, I had the opportunity to start a wig business. Like, I really had that opportunity. But, I never took that step. I was saying, oh, let me focus on my studies. Yeah, what I was always telling myself was that I came here to study, so let me focus on my study. Even YouTube channel, I had a YouTube channel before I went to um, university, but at some point I was not active because I was like, I don't want anything to distract my studies. You understand? So I was just like, I beg, let me finish my studies. So it's helped me to use that money to invest in. The wig business and start buying my stuff small small and start making wig for friends and like start selling it to friends once in a while but i never did that and by the time i finished school i regretted not taking that step because immediately i finished school there was nothing to do and presently as i'm talking to you it's affecting me because um the period i wanted to start was not favorable for me i got some little money i bought some little materials but I just wasted my fund because nobody to buy my stuff. And it was during that COVID, when the COVID started afresh. That was when I, I ventured into this wig business. I waded into that wig business, but it made just like two weeks. But I find myself wearing it. When you're starting something newly, people don't want to buy your product they want to watch you and see um let's see how good this girl is how long she can do this and that you understand so nobody was willing to buy everybody was just telling me okay let me keep it let me keep it or later 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 so what i'm trying to say is that that's what they always say do the right thing at the right time because if you do the right thing at the wrong time is that if you will struggle to achieve that goal or it affects you negatively. I, I don't know why I'm saying all this thing. Even though right now I'm still going through that struggle, but hopefully I'm just hoping God provide. Me. Right now, big business is not 
pause is on hold because you know everybody right now is struggling right now it has not been easy so i don't know who i'm talking to i don't know what you are good at now i'm talking about business yes i don't know what you are good at i want you to take that bus step you might be thinking oh this thing is not in vogue how many people want ah, no. you might be thinking ah, a lot of people are doing this kind of business why should i do it it's better you take that step at that right time because if you don't take that step how will you know if you you succeed in that business because if you keep saying thinking oh i don't have interest in it i don't want to make money in it nobody is doing it this and that before you know it's sitting now weak business now a lot of people are doing weak they are, they are they are into that weak a lot of people are into that weak business as i'm talking to you right now and people are making it big some people are doing training for weak businesses after the learn how to do big and you know and weak businesses now it's you need enough fund to be to able to really venture into that weak business business completely because you have to buy the materials you have to buy some things you know the materials alone are kind of expensive because there are a lot of materials in it but you can start with something as an idea I, I'm, I'm i'm also working on it you can start with something so please i don't know who i'm talking to please take that step and uh, take that step when when they notice if you have that talent and people keep telling you this talent can fetch you money they see that you can be great with this talent don't take it for granted like the way i took it for granted assuming i took it serious while i was in the university i would have become big in air making but back then i was thinking i don't want to become an hairdresser and by the time we businesses started fully I was I was just focusing on book 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 but I have a good news for you guys even though right now I'm still struggling to venture into that business or I'm still struggling at that business right now there's something I discovered in me 2020 stroke 2021 and that's script writing now I can write scripts I don't know I just found myself falling in love with drama because right from when I was a little kid I loved watching movies I was a shy type that I can't even face people I can't face audience I can't I can't interact with people but when I got to university something that I worked at that's one thing um, university will help you out to it's bring out of you because there's no way you'll be among people and you will not want to you know everything about your lifestyle will change well, you will see that something good will always change when you enter the, into the higher institution so when i enter into the higher institution i started acting drama right now like i know to write scripts i can just sit down hold a bio hold a book and start writing scripts as i'm talking to you right now i have four scripts i've written short movie scripts and the good news is that one of my short movie scripts is out so i'm planning on uploading it on this channel if i if i'm unable, unable to upload that video this friday uh, then the following week i'm going to be uploading my movie so guys please take that bold step because you don't know where it's going to lead you to when you take that bold step you will yourself you you'll be amazed you'll be astonished on on the progress because something every every big thing starts with little i mean every big thing starts little so no matter how little it is no matter what you are good at don't say that people are doing these businesses this business is too common ah uh, this or oh, that oh please just take that bold step and i know for sure you will never regret it and it's never too late as long as you are alive, you are breathing, no matter your age. As long as you have passion for something, when you take that step, you will surely achieve that progress. It might take a longer time, but when there's passion for it and when you keep getting your things small, small, and start small, small, <laughs> the sky is your limit. The peak at which you will move, you move high. You serve, you'll be so, so, so surprised. you so, so, so amazed. So, guys, thank you for watching my video. And um, I don't like saying these things, but I need to say it. 
please kindly subscribe to this channel if you know that you love me or you love my videos or even though you don't have anything to love about me just because you no know, of my pretty face or my beautiful smile yes that one should be enough for you to subscribe for me subscribe because subscription is absolutely free guys please just do me that favor to hit that subscribe button beside it you see the notification bell turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my future videos um give this video a thumbs up if you like a thumbs down if you don't like whether you give it this video a thumbs up or thumbs down i still love you all I still love you all. I still love you all. So thank you all and have a blessed weekend. Till next time. Bye. <laughs>